So here we are. Um, try to put in um, the last detail on that spoke here. Um, let's go to the side view and insert a few splits up here. Um, one right up there, another one yeah, down here and go to perspective select one of those edges and then control right click um, to ettering and split set this from relative to multi again um, select those vertices here uh, not this one but all of those 12 okay and then push those in Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks that looks good. So I keep that. All right. So the next step um, would be uh, once you're happy with that spoke um, to copy that over. So um, as you can see, the the second spoke uh, doesn't look um, as the one that we just created. So that's one thing we have to take care about. Um, to do this, um, go to the side view and let's select some faces here. Uh, let me go to the um, <coughs> marquee or lasso, lasso tool. Um, I'm going to try to get as much faces from that spoke as I need, as I can. Okay, this one, this one, and Let's go to perspective view. Uh, let's delete those up there. Okay. So with that done, you see we deleted all the faces um, that were connected to the to the old spoke. So now we have to t select uh, this spoke right here and copy that over. Okay. So select all of those faces here. Um, shift select, control shift select all the faces that we did not get. Okay. Control shift and select all of those. Let's deselect those. If you're wondering why you don't hear any mouse clicks, um, I'm working with a tablet. So, I think we got everything we need. Looks good. Okay, so now what we have to do is, um, with uh, all the faces selected, go to Mesh and say Extract. So now we get um, two different pieces, uh, the spoke and the rest of it. So now what we want to do is um, yeah, duplicate the spoke that looks um, good to us. So all we need to do is hit Control D and then, you know, if I just uh, rotate that, that won't fit because um, we uh, we uh, connected uh, the two um, the two spokes together on that side. And that's not that's not a big problem. So let's just um, rotate that um, negative twenty. So now it's uh, exactly in the spot it should be. And then um, what we have to do is um, scale that scale that um, not in world object. So if you double click on your scale tool uh, it will sh show up the tool settings so put that to object. Um, and then scale it just um, negative 1 type it in here, negative 1 in Z. So now we can we have to rotate that again. Okay, Put that to negative 40 Okay, so as you can see, that helped. Um, we got one issue. Let me turn on wireframe and shade it. 
Uh, we got one issue down here, but that's not a that's not a big problem, so we can fix that later. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, try to figure out where we got some extra faces we don't need. And that's only one face here. Um, let's delete that. And then um, you might want to take that face, delete that as well, and then come in here and extrude this face out. And now um, moving this in, in X, after that, that um, take the uh, hit the V key or press the V key on, on your keyboard and the middle mouse over um, a point where you want to move that. Okay, so now it's exactly on the same line as um, the point that we uh, that I was just uh, hovering over. Okay, so now I get uh, one extra face from or two extra faces from that extrusion. That's um, something we don't want. Select that, delete that, select the other one, delete it as well. So now we're um, yeah we're good to go to connect all this back together. All right. Uh, as you can see up here, yeah, we we are missing one face here, but that's not a big problem. Um, I'm wondering. Oh, that was because of the. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, um, I might have you know I I, I did not select um, the one face uh, up here. So let me just uh, select this object here. And um, let me rotate that uh, just to see if there's, you know, if there are two faces on one spot, but it's not. So, okay, let me undo that. Um, so, all we need to do now is um, something um, that's uh, quite easy um, go to object mode, select both uh, or uh, all three objects we have now, and then again combine those. Uh, go to vertex. Um, before we merge that, um, let's just uh, take a look in the uh, at the merge uh, vertices uh, options. If you see here, you you have to dial down that number here um, to a very. If it's not, just dial it down to something. What I have, it's a zero 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 one. Um, so. Just to make sure that if you select, you know, all of those vertices and you merge uh, those together, they won't, um, they won't, you know, just merge some vertices that uh, you don't want to be merged. <laughs> all right, okay. So I just uh, merged those. Mm. So now you see, okay, we are missing that face here. Um, that's not a not a big problem, so we uh, can again use our append polygon tool that we used earlier. So go up here, select that, click on that, hit enter, and there you go. So now we got a, uh, you know, two, uh, you know, uh, both spokes look the same. So if you hit three on your keyboard, you're gonna see this. Turn off wireframe unshaded. So there you go. I mean, that's um, yeah, that's almost the main part of uh, of that rim. Sure, we got some some work to do, but um, this yeah, this kind of technique um, you can use on almost uh, any uh, rim uh, that you want to model. So you only have to figure out you know how many faces you take on the inner ring or in the outer ring or yeah, so depends on how many spokes uh, your your rim has that you want to model okay so now with that done um, let's go one step further um, but let me pause the video for per performance sake okay thanks